All right, my pickles, we are going to continue with the celebration of Jill turning 49 today. And I'm going to share a little bit more with you about how my day is going. If you watch some of my earlier videos or listen to the episode on the podcast, I had a rough start to the day. I woke up several times in the night last night in that inability to wake myself up. I knew I was low cortisol, but I could not bring myself into a conscious state. Um, I finally, you know, one bonus about using the infusion pump as my treatment for my adrenal insufficiency is around 5 a.m. The cortisol starts to automatically kick into my body. And I believe that's what helped me wake up this morning. So I was able to pull myself into a conscious state and I immediately recognized the feeling of low cortisol. It was that weight, that brick back on my forehead that I used to experience all the time when I was on hydrocortisone tablets pretty much every single morning. Um, but definitely something, you know, I've had a busy couple weeks. Life has caught up to me. I've been living life large. I've been living life the way I want to and it catches up with me and it caught up with me today on my birthday. So I got up, I started. So what I do when I recognize what I'm going through that I have low cortisol, um, I try to stick to a strict routine as much as possible. I know my routine that works for me, that works for my body. So I made sure that I was extra strict today, which meant eating regularly. I took rest. I took my extra meds. I listened to my body. I made sure I had enough sodium. And I just really, really did things to love and care for myself. Often when I'm in that state um, and I start to get overwhelmed and my anxiety goes up, um, I usually take a moment and I just ask myself, what do I need? What do I need right now to feel better? And, you know, and I think outside the box. So for me today, it was organization, doing different things. It was catching up on messages, just simple little tasks that still made me feel like I was being productive, um, but wasn't being too, you know, weighing on my cortisol levels so that I could recover. And I wanted to take a moment and I wanted to thank all of you so much for all your comments um, on the YouTube. Um, the emails I have received have been absolutely incredible. And I cannot express to you how much that means to me. You guys have literally made this the best birthday ever. And one thing that I love the most is when I get the emails is you you mentioned watching the videos and but what I really love is when you share with me your experience when you can tell me not only do you watch the videos and but you feel the videos and that means so much to me because I hope it validates your journey but you also validate my journey for me as well. And when I read those words, when you guys send me an email and you're like, you know what, I watched this video and I could see in the look in your eyes and I understand the struggle that you're going through and how hard it was to make that video and, you know, and just share your experience with your adrenal insufficiency. That means the world to me because the only people who understand what we go through is us. And it's definitely a unique journey that we are on. And, you know, when we have those lows and we have those moments, you know, it's really, it's really indescribable and I can feel it in your words. And that means the absolute world to me. So thank you so much to everyone, um, everyone from Amy in California and Teresa and Susan and, and all these wonderful friends that I have because my circle it's tighter, but it is brighter and it's all because of you. So thank you so much for making my birth birthday wonderful. And I am doing so much better. I've listened to my body. I rested. I recovered. Um, I stuck to that routine. I took my extra meds and today has been absolutely perfect. So thank you so much, my pickles. And until next time, please be well.